We're thinking about that, Trump told reporters when asked about lifting the Jones Act restrictions on Wednesday. But we have a lot of shippers and a lot of people that work in the shipping industry that don't want the Jones Act lifted, and we have a lot of ships out there right now. Many of the U.S. territory's 3.4 million inhabitants are queuing for scarce supplies of gas and diesel to run generators as the island's electrical grid remains crippled a week after Maria hit. Government-supplied water trucks have been mobbed. Puerto Rico gets most of its fuel by ship from the United States, but one of its two main ports is closed and the other is operating only during the daytime. We expect them to waive it, the Jones Act. Governor Ricardo Rossello told CNN on Wednesday, noting there was a brief waiver issued after Hurricane Irma, which was much less devastating as it grazed past the island en route for Florida earlier this month. Members of Congress from both parties have supported an emergency waiver, he said. The U.S. Department of Homeland Security, which waived the law after Irma and after Hurricane Harvey hit Texas in August, said on Wednesday it was considering a request by members of Congress for a waiver, but had not received any formal requests from shippers or other branches of the federal government. Lack of water, fuel Maria, the most powerful storm to hit Puerto Rico in nearly 90 years, caused widespread flooding and damage to homes and infrastructure. Residents are scrambling to find clean water with experts concerned about a looming public health crisis posed by the damaged water system. Some residents also waited hours for gasoline and diesel to fuel their automobile tanks and power generators to light their homes. U.S. Air Force Colonel Michael Valle, on hand for relief efforts in San Juan, said he was most concerned about the level of desperation that could arise if fuel distribution did not return to normal within a couple of weeks. In Washington, Republican leaders who control both chambers of Congress have said they are prepared to boost disaster funding, but are waiting for a detailed request from the Trump administration.